This is our first welterweight semifinal. On the left-hand side, we have Alexander Rahachich of Chicago MMA. And on the right-hand side, we have Vicente McKeeve of Topeka, Kansas. Vicente is a uh, judo black belt, so look to see him use his judo techniques here in the stand-up uh, as we see him go for that foot sweep right away. See Alex there faking the level change, looking to set up that takedown. See another foot sweep attempt there by Vicente, and Alex goes ahead and decides to sit to guard here. Gets this match to the ground where he can start to utilize his strong leg locking pedigree. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we saw Alex win the 155 pound Metamorphs Challenger uh, a few years back. He leg locked his way through that. Uh, unfortunately, never received the $10,000 from Halleck Gracie. Uh, if he goes on to win tonight, I can guarantee you that he will get paid his money by, by me. Alexander uh, hit kind of like a scissor takedown there, but from the knees, and uh, wasn't on that inside Senkaku position, but Vicente was able to clear his knee line and is now back on, well, now back on top, uh, looking to pass the guard of Alexander Rahacic. up in that front headlock but Vicente is able to free his chin and uh, we're back on the feet here Alexander looking for those shin on shin entries but Vicente is doing a good job of keeping that inside control not allowing to Alex uh, to get on the inside here Now Alexander looks to scoot those hips underneath and start working that butterfly guard. Now back to this cl full close guard. <clears throat> He's looking for a guillotine here, but Vicente's posture does not allow him. Alexander sits into a guillotine attempt here. Looks like Vicente is able to get his back to the mat, but Alexander still hunting for maybe like a Dars or uh, any of the necktie series here. May look to keep that guillotine and just step over to the mount and finish it there. Alexander abandons the grip. He's now going to be hunting for the back. He's got one hook. I believe he's got the seatbelt now just looking for that second hook as Vicente turtles. Looks like Alexander's going to slide off here. Vicente's now in the open guard of Alexander. Looking to pass here. Alexander's able to defend the guard pass and end up on top in this position here. Very good defense there. Alexander drives that head underneath the chin, looking for that knee slice pass on the far side. Tripoding up, using his chin to create a lot of pressure underneath the chin of Vicente and stretch him out in this position here. 
The more stretched out Vicente is, the easier it'll be to pass the guard. Vicente's able to get his knees back to his chest. It's going to be harder for Alexander to pass the guard here. Looks like he just needs to free that foot now, and he does. It's on top in kind of a modified north-south position here. And some... Alexander now with that seat belt again, looking for the back here. Looks like he's got one hook, not quite. He's got that good chest-to-back connection. Vicente's trying to fight the hooks here. We're nearing the edge, and referee Cliff Harris ready to reset the action here in the middle. He may not need to. And Vicente is free from the back control of Alexander. We're going to see a reset here in the middle. Kente looking to use that half guard to come up on a single leg. Alexander's able to free his leg. He pulls guard. But Kente controlling that top hook there so that Alex can't get that full uh, knee shield half guard or uh, Z guard. Vicente tries to sit into that twister pass there from half guard. Maybe looking for a Kimura trap there on the far side. Had the elbow isolated but wasn't able to lock up the Kimura grip there. Now still stuck in the half guard of Alexander Rahachich as we near the end of our eight minute regulation here. Alexander back up to the feet and looking for that guillotine again, but is not able to secure the head. And it looks like this match is probably going to be headed to overtime. And we are. We're headed to overtime here in our first welterweight semifinal between Alexander Rakicic and Vicente McKeef. Interesting. It looked like Alex got the first choice. Maybe he chose to defer to Vicente in the first round of overtime here. Vicente uh, not electing to take the back like most competitors, looking for the arm right away. Vicente's got strong control. He's using that right arm to control the leg so that Alexander can't run away. Alexander trying to pummel that outside foot in uh, to free his leg and uh, allow himself to hit that uh, hitchhiker escape. Vicente keeping a strong grip on that, on that uh, near side leg. Alexander nearly gets that leg free and gets up to his knees, but Vicente's back in control here. Looking to rock here and sit up. Kente looking to push that far side elbow off. 
and uh, break the grip there and try to straighten the arm out here for the armbar finish. Kente really hugging tight on that leg there. Just trying to maintain control here. And he is able to straighten the arm out. He gets an arm bar here in the first half of our overtime period. Very impressive submission from Vicente McKeith. Alexander is now forced to decide uh, whether he wants to take the back or the arm bar here. He has to get the finish in a shorter amount of time than Vicente submitted him right there. Looks like he needs to do it quicker than a minute and 27 seconds. He is able to submit Vicente McKeeve inside of a minute and 27 seconds. He will be our winner and advance to our welterweight final. If he does not, Vicente will be the winner and will advance to the welterweight final. Alexander elects to take the armbar here. He to separate the wrist right away. It's like he might be closed, Vicente steps over. We're on the edge of the mat here. Alexander looking to straighten that arm out. We're at the edge, they're gonna let it go. Vicente is in immediate danger, so we have to let this go no matter where they go. Vicente's got that outside foot over, looking to wedge against the upper body of Alexander Rahacic to assist in pulling his elbow out here. It's really hard to see what Alexander has in this position. The arm is straight out. It looks like looks like Vicente is out. He's out. And our winner is advancing to the welterweight final. Vicente McKee. And your winner by arm bar in overtime, Vicente McKee.